Okay, here we have the shock felt around the world problem. Suppose that one day all 270 million people in the US climb up on tables. At time equals zero, they all jump off. The resulting shock as they hit the Earth's surface will start the entire Earth vibrating in such a way that its surface first moves down from its normal position. The displacement y of the surface is sinusoidal function of time with a period of about 54 minutes. Assuming that the amplitude is 50 meters, answer the following questions. So first of all, you can see down the bottom here, um, we've got some diagrams explaining the situation and I've just started um, building up my axis. So I've got 54, because it told us that was the period. And we were also told that it goes, it's got an amplitude of 50. All right, so if, uh, and it tells us it starts by going down. So it's, if we start at zero at the beginning, and then we're gonna go down and then up, and then to the maximum, and then back down to here. So we get a, a function, let's try and do it best I can. Oh, not very good at drawing these. There we go. We've got a function that looks like this. At what time will the first maximum, the greatest distance above the normal position, occur? Okay, so let's, um, let's write on this in another color. So if we look at our scale, this was 54. So we've got 27 is half of 54. If we halve that, we get 13.5. And then if we go... 27 add 13.5 is 40.5. So our answer to the first part is that it's going to take 40, we should put 40 minutes, 30 seconds, because that's 40 and a half minutes. All right. Write the equation expressing displacement in terms of time elapsed since the people jumped. All right, so we're just gonna put this in, in an equation. Um, well, let's write down, we're gonna do a sine equation. I would actually go and make this y equals negative. So it's gonna be negative 50, that's my amplitude, negative 50 sine. The difference with negative sine and sine is that sine starts going up like this, and negative sine is a reflection in y equals zero. So we start by going down. So we've got that. And then we need to work out what B is. Now, um, we know that B, oh, B equals two pi divided by the period. Now, in this case, the period is 54. So we've got two pi over 54 which is pi over 27. Okay, so that is gonna go in here. We've got pi over 27 x, or in this case, actually, I should use t, because we're talking about time. Okay, so there's, put that in brackets. We don't need to move it up, so we have no d part here. That's our expression. And then we can use that expression to predict the displacement when t equals nine minutes. So I, I cheated a little bit um, and put my expression, I guess I should put a t there. Will it make any difference? No. Okay, so I've got my, um, my expression here. And what I need to do is look for when t equals nine. You can do this um, by substitution in your, on your calculator, just putting t equals 9 in, or by drawing the graph on your calculator, and you'll find that the displacement is negative 43.3 minutes. That's that one.